Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Revy OS 10. Now, in the past, we've taken a look at Revy OS 11 twice, and we've taken a look at a lot of custom Windows 11 builds, but we haven't really taken a look at that many custom Windows 10 builds, and I feel like today it's the time to give Windows 10 a little bit of love for what it deserves for its last two years. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and boot into the Revy OS 10 installer and see what's going on. All right, so it does appear to be using the Windows 11 terms and conditions, or maybe Microsoft updated them for Windows 10 too. I guess I haven't really installed Windows 10 since June 2021. Uh, we're gonna put it on two or on the 60 gig partition, and we're gonna let it install. Now, I do want to take a look at the specs of this machine because Revy OS, I can't remember if it's supposed to be for lightweight systems or not. Um, so on this machine, we have two gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty low for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Two processors, one core per processor, just default settings for VMware Windows 10. So this is going to go ahead and install and we'll be back when it's installed and we're in the desktop or the out-of-box experience. Alright, and so it does look like we did get an out-of-box experience, which I don't recall happened on Revy OS 11. Maybe it did and I'm thinking wrong. Let's see what happens. Because I know that a lot of custom Windows builds, they immediately jump straight into, like, they use a script to auto-create an account that has all their settings that they want, and then it puts you into the desktop. So there we go. It skipped the Microsoft account. It asks us what we want our username to be, so we're just going to call this Revy OS 10. I keep saying 11. We're not going to put a password in because who needs a password? We're not all about security here. We're going to skip Cortana, which I am surprised is kept in and it is now jumping to a preparing windows screen it is not asking that getting your pc ready or that that screen that it kind of changes colors it's just preparing windows so that part was taken out of the os all right and here we are so the first thing we're going to do is install vmware tools so we can get a little bit of a better look at this operating system but man it has been oh well that's cool um i guess we're gonna have to wait for this um, but it has been such a long time since I've actually taken a look at Windows 10. I'm not going to lie, I do kind of miss it. Don't get me wrong, I love Windows 11, but there's just something about the classic feel of Windows 10 that um, there's something cool about it. I actually haven't used Windows 10 as my daily driver since, I believe, April, not April, August of 2021 because I installed the Insider build of Windows 11 um, in August of 2021. So it's been that long since I have main main OS to Windows 10. Wow, that is incredible. Let's try and install VMware tools. Um, straight off the bat, that script did install quite a few things such as Brave and the revision tool, um, which I guess, okay, that would be the script that would typically be ran if there was an out-of-box experience or it would already be on the OS. Um, so let's get VMware tools on there so we can get a bigger resolution and then we'll take a look. The other thing is the time is drastically wrong. It is one for or it's actually 10:49 on the 24th, not 2:49 a.m. on the 25th. All right. Well, that's something I haven't seen in a while. Those little notifications pop up like that. All right. So by default, we have the recycle bin, we have Brave and the revision tool, which I believe, yep, security options, usability, performance, Windows updates, um, and miscellaneous. And this is all themed to be Windows 11. Um, the background is the custom Revy OS 11 and 10 background, which I do actually like, but for some reason it looks a little blurry at 1440p. Um, we have our notification center that looks exactly the same as it does on Windows 10. Calendar, volume slider, networking, the USB printers and devices thing, Bluetooth, the VMware tools icon. Moving over here, Brave Browser is default pinned to the taskbar where you can see revision, discord, FAQ, and the revision homepage is all built in right here to the Brave Browser. Moving down, we have our Windows Store, which does look like an older version of the Windows Store. Yeah, that, that's like an OG Windows Store here. Um, the File Explorer, and then your Task View, your Search, and your Start Menu. I'm actually really unsure what version of Windows 10 this is. Let's take a look because I'm going to put my guess in, uh, I'm going to say 21H1 because it, it looks it looks old. Oh wow, this is 22H2. This lo It looked like an older version of Windows, 11, or Windows 10. I am so used to saying Windows 11. 
To reinstall, we have Brave, Calculator, the Store, Revision Tool, Settings, Snip and Sketch, which just got updated, Windows Accessories, including the classic Internet Explorer, Windows Admin Tools, Ease of Access, PowerShell, System, Xbox, Xbox Game Bar, and your phone. Opening Settings, I know it was in Revy, I know it was in here, that we can take a look and see under Updates. Uh, pause Windows Updates is turned off. Um, but if we turn this, or pause Windows updates is on, so if we turn that off, uh, I don't know how to get this to work. We are supposed to be able to check for Windows updates, but I'm not seeing it. So that's fun. Battery health reporting is also a thing. Uh, that should be something in regular Windows, to be honest with you. Um, are there any extra cool back? No, those are the only two cool backgrounds that we have here. Um, with VMware Tools, this OS is using roughly 11 gigabytes of space, um, so not bad. And then as for CPU and RAM usage on this 2 gigabyte VM, we are using 1.5 out of 2 gigabytes, and then we are using 18%, 39, 34, 5%. Okay, so it's just varying. We're using our CPU. So with that being said, this was just a brief overview of Revy OS 10 because I truly have not taken a look at a custom Windows 10 build in a long time definitely takes me back to like August 2021 when I used to main this. I do miss Windows 10. I don't know why. I love Windows 11, but I do miss Windows 10 occasionally. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new on here. I to do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.